CNN under fire today after a commentator made some pretty irrehensible remarks surrounding O.J. Simpson as she tried to explain why this captivated the nation. What she did was she just kept digging herself in deeper and deeper and deeper. And, you know, I, I was just shocked by it, as was everyone. I mean, like, this is... This is a sound heard around the world here because it got picked up all over Twitter. It was picked up in the mainstream media. New York Post had a big story on it. I want you to see this because she's claiming that O.J. Simpson represented something to black America. And there's a reason why. And it's going to kind of turn your stomach. So full disclosure. But just see it because we have to discuss. Watch. But it was so racially charged because of what had happened uh, just before with Rodney King, but also just how black Americans feel about policing. It's not like O.J. Simpson was the, the leader of the civil rights movement of his era. You right. know, he wasn't a social justice leader, but he represented something for the black community in that moment, in that trial particularly because there were two white people who had been killed and the, the history around how black people have been persecuted um, during slavery. There were, there were just so many layers. And I guess I would just close with this is that there was racial tension. Then there is racial tension. Now it might not be the backdrop of the Trump campaign, but until this country is ready to actually have an honest conversation about the racial dynamics from our origin story till today, we will always have moments like O.J. Simpson that manifest, and our country will always be divided if we don't actually deal with the issue of race. I, I sure hope not. I sure hope not. But you, did you catch that, ladies and gentlemen? She said that O.J. Simpson, quote, represented something for the black community, particularly because there were two white people who had been killed. So, you know, this is this is in so many ways, obviously incredibly distasteful. And I think the problem that we have, frankly, as a nation is that if we're continuing to see everyone via a lens of color, as opposed to who they are as people, as individuals, then we're going to continue to have these problems over and over again. And the reality is this woman who's a CNN contributor also worked for the Obama administration. And she also worked for the Biden campaign. So she's a former Obama administration official. Her last name is Allison. And she was on Joe Biden's presidential campaign as well as his transition team. So if this is the group think that is dictating how we need to work our policies as we move forward, then, then what chance do we have? Really, what chance do we have? I mean, for goodness sakes, look, America is the one place, I can guarantee you, where they don't care what the color of your skin is or what sex you are, or any of this stuff. They, they care about how hard you can work, how smart you are, and whether or not you can get the job done. In other words, do you, do you perform? And that's what a meritocracy in a capitalist society is so about. And that is why we have people from all over the world still wanting to come here. I mean, one of the most successful groups in America is actually Nigerian immigrants that come to America. I mean, look at the people that from India that come to America, from Asia that come to America, but again, from the continent of Africa, including Nigeria. I mean, in other words, when we make it about that, what this CNN woman wants to make it about, this former Obama and Biden administration official wants to make it about, then we're no better than that. And we'll never, we'll never rise above that. Here's another CNN contributor saying something that was sort of, well, kind of the unspeakable. Let's go to this woman. It's also just <laughs> worth noting how much is, was impacted by this trial, Jake. Uh, so many things happened. We saw policing changing here in the city. And it's also worth noting because of that unrest, that racial unrest in the 90s, that is why so many people who may not have been invested in O.J. Simpson were just happy to see that someone who was rich and famous and black could get away with the, what other people did in the system as well, too. You see what I'm saying? So as long as you have this perception, and look, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with the, the idea or the perception that somehow the wealthy, the powerful get away with stuff, but the idea that somehow it's pitted against black versus white, until we get away from that, we're really not going to have <clears throat> an ideal society in any way, shape, or form. We are not America. Look, we had already started to get away from that. 
And then Barack Obama came along. And Barack Obama very conveniently figured out his only reason for being was to prove, okay, well, I'm black and I can be president. And by the way, you know, it's only because of this, that, and the other. And you're never going to get there, even though I did, right? That was sort of the message. You're never going to get there because they're never going to allow you. And it's like, but wait a second, you did. Shouldn't you be an inspiration to everyone everywhere? Why would you be telling people that they can't? Well, you understand it's not politically expedient to tell them that they can, because then what do they need you for, Barack? And so he called up Joe Biden the other day, right before Joe went down and did, gave that big, big speech at that church down south, right? He, he called him up and he, he read him the riot act and he said, you know, this race is about one thing only. And unfortunately, it's about literally race. This race is about race. Well, it's not going to work. It's actually not going to work. And I, I can tell you this because, one, I've looked at the polling data. Two, I go out to the middle of the country and I talk to people. And three, I observe all the news coming in around me.